I'm fat loss expert and author, Fit Yummy Mommy, here to demonstrate how to do the half get up. Thank you for all the likes, the comments, the shares. Hope to provide more of these for you. The more interaction I get from you, the more I will make for you. And feel free to send in requests as needed. The half get up. The reason why I wanted to put this exercise out there is because there are these viral ab challenges going on uh, in social media that talk about crunches and crunches and crunches and do hundreds of crunches a day. And this is not sending the right message. I thought we got over the whole crunches don't flatten your tummy. If you truly want to target your core to tighten and flatten, number one, it comes from cleaning up your eating habits. Number two, it comes from following a full body strength training workout. Number three, it comes from using an effective form of cardio, which is known as interval training. Those combined will have a faster impact on flattening and tightening your tummy than focusing on isolated exercises. That being said, this is one of my favorite core exercises that truly targets the tummy and it's also working your entire body. So what I want to do is demonstrate what the half getup looks like and then break it down step by step. And it's the half getup because the full Turkish getup is where this move comes from is once you go into the top of the bridge position, you actually stand all the way up and then have to reverse those movements to lie all the way back down. Great metabolic total body exercise, but something to work up to. So, the half get up. <clears throat> what I'm gonna be doing is starting from a lying position on a mat. My legs are gonna be, if I was sitting in V position, um, one leg's gonna be bent, so my foot is flat on the ground. The other leg is out. Then you're gonna lay back onto the mat. Now, this hand is down and out, flat on the mat. This leg's bent. Because this knee is bent, this arm is going to be up, straight above, pointing to the sky the entire time. So from here, you're going to be rolling into and up in forming a bridge position at the top. And it looks like this. And that's the top of the half get up. And then you just simply reverse what you just did. And notice, I rolled back down with control versus flopping. Huh? So, let's break that down. <clears throat> From the lying position, I'm going to talk you through exactly how to do this. You want to be focusing on driving this foot into the mat as you roll onto the elbow and forearm of this arm that's out to the side, all while maintaining a nice straight arm. So you truly have to be engaging this foot, driving this leg down, pressing this palm into the mat or the floor, and using your core as you roll out to the side, keeping that arm nice and straight. And also, this leg stays planted. There's no using leverage of that leg. Then from here, checking your posture. Your chest is out, your shoulders are stacked, you're looking at this hand. This foot is firmly planted because now what you're gonna do is straighten this arm. So nice tall posture here. Looking up at that hand. Drive into this heel to form the top of the bridge, ready? So your body is forced up into that bridge. You're using your glutes, fully opening your chest, arms, shoulders stacked and your feet are driving into the ground to help maintain the top of that bridge now to come back down just reverse exactly what you did so we're going to lower down from the bridge we're going to lower down onto our forearm same thing maintaining that posture here's the tricky part you're going to roll back without moving anything else so core strength right here core strength right and down. And then you can reset, because I find I kind of move when I do this. Reset and focus on drive, drive, roll, up, drive it into the top of the bridge, feel those glutes squeezing and nice and powerful, reverse it all the way back down. Now, a couple things to kind of point out, but you want to make sure that you're doing it properly. <clears throat> From this position, you're not crunching up. There is no crunching straight up. Remember, crunches don't do anything anyway. Rather, you're rolling to the side, 
mm, using the core. It's hard to do that really slow. This leg better not come up. This is what I see a lot of mistakes made. Either you're crunching up like this. No. Because what happens to your arm when you do that? Arm cannot break that straight, uh, the straight pattern right up here. And I'm going to give you a trick on how to make sure you keep that arm straight. So there's no crunching forward. It's to the side. And also, this leg better not come up. So there is no, there's none of that. So you might want to break it down and just practice coming here, rolling back with control. Coming here, rolling back with control. Then once you've mastered that part, lift it up. Nice tall posture. Now from here, this is the bridge, so you can kind of reposition this hand if needed. So driving your hips up, hips are level, glutes are tight, everything's planted, shoulders stacked. Okay. <clears throat> now, because that's a half get up, body weight only, you're obviously going to do it on the opposite side too. Rep range depends on when you're using it. <clears throat> And where your fitness level is. Uh, I, if I do a, a half get up in my workouts, it's at the end. It's in a core based superset or triset. And I'm doing anywhere from five to eight repetitions, depending on the weight in which I use. And yes, you can use weight. But you may not use weight until you are 100% sure that you can maintain that arm straight overhead. Here's the trick to make sure a shoe. So, same thing, V-sit position, rolling it back, <clears throat> palm is flat, you're not holding the shoe, no gripping it, palm is flat, because you're going to see if your arm truly stays overhead, because if you do this, uh-oh, arm was not truly straight overhead, but if you do this, then the shoe test, Got to roll it all the way down too, make sure. The shoe test will prove that you would be ready to add weight. This is what it looks like when you add weight. Kettlebell, right over here. The safe and proper way to load weight, rolling to the side, grabbing it so it's racked, pressing it overhead. Now, oh, yep, and my leg just came up. Drive and lower it back down, nice and slow and controlled. Lower that weight, roll it back, and let go. Because the last thing you want to do is grab weight like this and tear up your shoulders. So that is the half get up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about it. You can break down each of those steps and just practice each one of them over and over again until you can put them all together to perform a full half get up and be able to complete five date repetitions. Starting off body weight, doing the shoe test, and then adding weight. Hope you enjoy these videos and let me know if you have any special requests. See ya.